YouTube, what is up with y'all today? This is Neil Goodfella, Goodfella Neil, coming through with another sneaker rotation. Weekly 7, uh, September 28th, it is Monday. Sometimes, when I, yeah, sometimes I drop my sneaker, rota sneaker rotations on uh, Monday, sometimes I drop them on Sunday. That one, in rare case, I dropped on Tuesday. I really try not to because that just throw everything off, kind of. And, um, so if you guys haven't seen, I think that was, that might have been Sneaker Rotation 113 or something like that. So make sure you guys go see that if you haven't already, though. But this is today's um, Sneaker Rotation, or tonight, rather. You know what I mean? Because it is nighttime now. Raining in my area. So, yeah. What's a better way to, you know, start this week off or end the previous week as far as kicks go with a Sneaker Rotation? Now, day one beginning on Monday. Day 7 ending on Sunday. That's the way I do my, my weekly sneaker rotation. So if y'all familiar with it, let's do it. Also, too, guys, I also got a, um, more sneaker content on the way. I've just been busy on my end. You know, I just do this sneaker stuff, you know, camera stuff, like, just, like, as far as, like, a hobby and stuff. So, you know, I'm not going to be on time, on time. You know what I mean? Like, on some stuff, like, where, you know, these people that get paid that treat YouTube like a job, you know what I mean? It's no knock, but just so y'all know. So I've been working on my project, making sure I get that up, guys. But I do, I've already filmed the other sneakers uh, that I'm actually reviewing, because they already here. I do got two more on the way, but shoot, I got a big a big box right here, like a big stack of them. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, just, just sitting right here. At least a good seven sneakers just right here. Now I probably got two more coming in. So I'm going to have like, around maybe like nine or damn near ten sneaker reviews for you guys one of them being boots but that's gonna be real quick and um yeah that's basically the updates i don't think i really too much have any talk videos didn't really want to say anything though guys uh it's just the same usual usual man week in week out man botters bots in bots out can't get nothing and i don't even got the sneakers app uh no more i uh, uninstalled that like months ago so i'm just I'm just free willing it or whatever, you know what I mean? Um, I think that's all as far as the updates though that I do got. Uh yeah, so I do got the footage. I just need to get my B roll. So you know what I mean? Like I got the reviews, I just need to get that B roll on foot for you guys. So expect that to come soon. Um and I'ma just try to get them out as quick as I can once I get the ball rolling on my end as far as my projects go. Um, yep. So first thing first, Monday. I end up rocking these joints too. And thanks for everybody that's been watching my videos. I know some of y'all, you know what I mean? Y'all just want to see the sneaker rotations or whatever. And some of y'all do want to see the sneaker reviews. So I'm not going to sit up here and act like y'all just, you know what I mean? But uh, thanks for everybody that's been watching. Even pre watch my previous videos, like the New Balance 997H, the red and blue joints, and the Reebok Billionaire Boy Club Iverson joints. The Iverson 5, or, yeah, the Iverson 5 joints. Go check those out, guys. Y'all know what I do with that 4K quality. Just like this, this should be in 4K. But yeah, I think it is in 4K because I didn't change my settings. Monday, I ended up rocking a Tweed Barkley joint. This came out in like 07. Um, this was a sneaker I've been rocking a little bit more often um, because uh, I just didn't want it to break down or anything on me. And, you know, that's pretty normal with these kind of like sneakers. So I just try to make sure I get give these kind of sneakers uh, enough wear as far as like the air bubble and all that stuff so that's why I wore Monday Tuesday I end up going into the Air Max 1 the Air Max 1's was really really popping hard in like 2017 so I just want to really I just want to go back into the archives and just you know what I mean rock one the fit was uh, looking official that day uh, when I end up wearing, rocking these on Tuesday and just to have some of that khaki brown like uh, sand sand like color uh come out at the bottom definitely was worth it fly and flames i love it so yep 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 and remember i ended up doing like a big air max one pickup collection in 2017 because that's when i actually picked up a lot of air max ones wednesday i ended up rocking the black cement three I actually wore these for a few times you know what i mean um but this was i ended up rocking these on wednesday definitely was a relief uh comfort level is crazy way better than the 2011 to me personally they beefed up everything on this now this one also could have used the jordan 3 diet so it could look a little bit more og like and what i mean by that is even though this is nice and puffy and stuff um the like the unite threes and the unc threes and 
most of the threes that's been coming out for 2020 obviously you know has that more as i call a diet uh like jordan threes it's not as plush um on the newer ones you know what i mean and it's more true to the og because you know this would would have been thin and all that stuff so you know just a little bit more slammed down but other than that though guys i, I still like it it's still um definitely top 10 top 10 jordan of all time thursday i end up rocking these joints right here end up rocking the wheat griffy we already into the fall guys and uh definitely was appropriate for this kind of season and weather even though you can damn near wear a wheat sneaker year round you know what i mean but you know when it get like around this time around that fall time definitely worth it this is the griffy one though guys as well and you see the embroidery and all that still fresh and clean and the crazy part about it is this one dropped this flax rather they call it weed or flax this ended up dropping when nike was just on that crazy flax everything flax everything uh roll you know with the forces high top low top mid top um even the air max ones they actually got wheat and they also still like has this off-white kind of almost like cream on some of them if they when they start vintage yellowing and stuff i got those as well um i remember i bought those like on release day because i thought those was gonna sell out but uh definitely a good pickup this one i know i definitely got for a steel deal at the time and um this though i just went to wear a more tall like sneaker versus a low top like an air max one you know what i mean we ain't nothing wrong with that but it's just that day for this was it thursday i just felt like wearing this like something like a high top or something you know what i mean Friday, I end up rocking these joints right here, and this is the Olivia Kim uh, Black Cat Force. I know you got, I know you guys have the other, you know what I mean. The majority of other people had the other force, obviously, because the size, you know what I mean. You know, guys, you know, they came out with them for our size. Now with this Olivia Kim joint, obviously it was just like a women's release, so it was kind of like get in where you fit in, pause as far as men go. Um, I think the biggest size might go up to an 11. But other than that, though, guys. The prices on these joints has skyrocketed like crazy. I'm so happy I caught mine for like 260. These going for like 450, 460 right now for this exact shoe I'm holding right now. What's this? Uh, so uh, uh, what is this? Uh, 11. This might translate into a nine and a half for men. I couldn't believe it, man. For some 465, I think for this. Better pick up, man. Better pick up. And the crazy part about it is I struck out like a lot of people, you know what I mean? And just to look real quick, I already did a review on this when I had the 720p day camera, um, like last year. And uh, just looking real close up to this, I just want to make emphasis on the fur, that bovine fur. Definitely exotic, definitely takes it up a notch. And um, if I ever did like a safari pack collab, this would have been one of the... Jordans I would have made I probably would have made the the long hair look the pony hair a little bit more longer to be a little bit more ridiculous But this is good enough though If if, if Jordan brand was like yo nail pick out you know what I mean? I'm like put fur on that on that Jordan 4 cuz he's a black panther da 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 Straight up. You know what I mean? Olivia Kim was on the same creative vibe as me as far as the Jordan 4 go I do like her Moab that she uh, Spruced up just a little bit, but it still kind of remained true to the OG But other than that though guys the bovine fur whether you got this one or the uh, regular Durabuck or Nubuck one Definitely still a fly sneaker and I'm not even the biggest fan of all black sneakers But goodness this one's so turned up man. It's something about with the fours and the threes and the Ah, man, man, definitely top five Jordan models of all time to me. Um, also, too, lastly, before I leave this sneaker, this one is more luxe to me. You know what I mean? More luxurious, more luxury-like. I like to wear this with, like, leather pants and, like, a cream sweater. Definitely gives off more luxe-like vibes, so you know what I mean? Definitely worth it. So that's what I wore on Friday. Saturday, end up rocking a Flight 89. Um, yeah, guys, uh... Stay tuned. Um, I think, yeah, I got I got some more of these coming in. Colors that people didn't even review on YouTube, really. Might be just one video, one video, but I can't wait to drop them, you know what I mean? Fly and Flames. I probably got, I probably want two more colorways of this sneaker, but this is one of the sneakers that if you really want to enjoy, you definitely got to beat them in to actually get the comfort out of them. I obviously already did a long video on this, but um, 
I guess you guys can look at the new ones that's possibly going to be coming out um, so you know you can get more updates but yeah um, these are the hard quality ones same with the blue ones and that's the only thing that really be holding me back but I like this sneaker so much because I like the design it damn near looked like the 4 or 2 you know what I mean so definitely a fly Nike and a lot of people in the NBA was already wearing this anyway so it's like you represent like at least like 20 NBA players minimum rocking this so yeah um, last up on Sunday is the Nike Diamond Fury Fly and Flames. I can't believe that the Griffey ones, the teal and black joints, actually are hitting for something highlight right now. I don't know why, but yeah, crazy, crazy, crazy. I think this this might be the Dion version because it doesn't have a 24 on the side like the Griffey ones do. Um, they might have shared this kind of like model, like this kind of like cross trainer cleat kind of like you know what i mean vibe but definitely for sure i know griffey was rocking these these diamond furies and uh yeah man definitely flying flames i like the color definitely look flame you don't see nothing like this out there right now you know this came out a few years ago when this come out uh came out production day we got 2014 to 2015 so you know fly and flame so let me get a get a quick run through so you guys can see what i wore for the whole week minus the talking Monday Charles Barkley tweed and I did spruce these up with the lime green rope lace definitely brings this sneaker to life I like that wildness but also like the seriousness seriousness too with the brown this would definitely be nice for fall too Tuesday and the rocking the Air Max 1 with the sand colorway or khaki colorway Wednesday and the rocking the black cement three. Still got the insert in there because I'm about to stuff and put them back into the box. Wipe them down. So white uh, black cement three. I say white cement three. Black cement three on Wednesday. Griffey one flax on Thursday. Olivia Kim Jordan four with the bovine fur. Wore this on Friday. Saturday. Water Flight 89 University Red. Go pick these up before these sell out again. Um, if you don't have them, they should be under a hundred bucks now. Like well under a hundred bucks. Um, slept on a sneaker. One of the sneakers you got to beat in. Don't expect quality though. Don't expect great quality. Sunday, end up rocking a Diamond Fury joint. The Nike Diamond Fury. Beautiful. I like the way that black, white, and red hit. And then you hit that, hit it with that swoosh. Crazy, 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 crazy. So rate, comment, and subscribe. Remember what I told you guys at the beginning of this video as well. I do got more content on the way, so I'm finally gonna get around to that. Things starting to, you know, be a little bit more smooth now or whatever. So it is what it is. I'm out. Thanks for everybody that's been watching, rating, comment, and subscribing already. I'm out. Peace.